Willy Willy Wow! All right, welcome everybody to the Run and Ramble. I'm your oh wait, do we have real intro music? We have real intro music. Run and ramble, run and ramble, run and ramble, run and ramble. Run and ramble. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone to the Run and Ramble. We have real intro music this time provided to us from the greatest Las Vegas, well, probably like third or fourth best Las Vegas band ever on skip, <laughs> <laughs> who ruled the Huntridge Theater in the backyard party market for years <laughs> when we were in high school. Shout out to Big Brother. Shout out to Big Brother. Big Brother. Uh, anyways, I'm your host, Cor Max, and with me uh, is uh, always Ethan Hardinger. How you doing, Ethan? I'm doing well today. Good. Good. Ethan's in a good mood today, I can tell. And uh, with me is Scott. Scott! Hey, Scott. <laughs> Hello. So Scott has his uh, headphones over his face. And uh, we're going to have a picture of that. It'll be on our website so you can see exactly what he looks like right now with his or headphones over his face. Yeah, well, that'll be on our show nuts. <laughs> and then you hear that little you sweet. say show nuts? Yeah. yeah. Go see the show nuts. Show nuts. <laughs> and you'll find them. Show nuts. And uh, always is also Jordan Bunker chuckling in the background, who looks very handsome today. Oh, man. <clears throat> I need you. to thank Corbin for posting a picture on our Twitter of me. Just in case you wonder what Ethan looks like, this is him. Yeah. An overly up-close, <laughs> faded photo from, I think you pulled it off my email. Uh, yeah, I pulled it off your email. <laughs> oh, it's that picture. Yeah. yeah. It's a picture of Tom's email. like I'm 14. <laughs> um, speaking of... Twitter, uh, I got a uh, broke a world record today. Just not a world record, I guess. Just a personal best, a, a PB, world if record. you will. That I uh, got 14 retweets today. Wow! I think the most I ever gotten was one or two. So. I, I got to give it to our fan base. They've been connecting quite a bit on Twitter. I know. So I was going through some of like our, our some of the people, base. some of the people that we follow. <laughs> wow! I think it's the Rebels fan base, and they right. kind of catched us through. Uh, they catched us. Yes. Did they catch us? Did they catch Sorry. Caught, I'm sorry. They caught us? <laughs> <laughs> they caught, caught You can't tell me what they to caught do. They caught us? <laughs> Way to go, a hole All right. <laughs> um, listen, you guys went to the uh, Scarlet and Gray showcase, right? Yeah. What did you guys think of the Charlotte, Scarlet and Gray? Go ahead, Scott. Charlotte and I Gray? I missed it. Charlotte and Gray <laughs> showcase. All right, let's stop correcting each other. It's driving me nuts. I had a great time. I had a good time too. I had some issues with the thing. I felt like they put it together like the afternoon before they did it. If that, like, dude, like fifteen minutes before, there was like hardly any organization there. Like when they announced the players to come out, like you know, they turn the lights off mm -hmm. and they're in the tunnel, right? And uh, so there's like a curtain behind the tunnel, and they have like this this red light that's behind the curtain. So if, when the curtain like opens a little bit, you can see some like red light back there, and it, there's some, you know, the smoke machines going mm -hmm. and it was cool. Like they had the music going and then whoever the player was, they would have their picture up on like the, where the red vision oh, was. Yeah. Right. The picture didn't match all the time either. Oh yeah. The, the picture didn't match. Oh, the oh. And here's Darius Santee. Uh, oops. No, <laughs> no but like, who's the second person that came out? I forget who the second person was, but it had Meech's picture most of the time and it wasn't Meech. And then it did the same thing when Marshall came out. It was still saying Justin Hawkins. Along the bottom. Yeah. Along the bottom. But which was well, Jamie. I watched like some video of that part like after the fact of like uh -huh. the players coming out and the announcements. I thought it was cool. I mean, obviously, I didn't see the, the well, big screen. No, it was cool. But it was cool it was when cool. they were introduced. And they would the play the music, right? And the, the players would come out. But dude, like the players, number one, they didn't run down the red carpet. Like they didn't know where to go. They were supposed yeah, to run down didn't. the red carpet and then, I don't know, do some handshake with Hey Reb or jump or something, you know, and none of them did that. The first player did it who was like, I don't know, Rushman or Charles. No, no, no. no. It, it was, was Roscoe freshman. Smith. I, was it his freshman? That was, I think it was. Why first. wouldn't they roll out the red I carpet? It was. Savon no, Goodman. you don't understand. No, it was, it was out. There. The players didn't run down it. No, they were like guess, halfway. Where are they supposed okay, to run? Hold on, hold well, I on. guess they couldn't see it because it was dark. And they just had a spotlight no, on. No, what they did is most of them ran halfway down it. And then by the time it got towards the end, there were so many players lined up along the side of it that they just started hand fiving. Hand fiving? Right. Hand fiving. High shaking. It's good to hear High you shaking. High shaking. Okay. <laughs> the other players. I'm not correcting it. It's hand fiving <laughs> all the way down the line. And, uh,. It, it's, I don't know. It's almost like they couldn't just take a second to get a dry erase board and say, okay, 
when the curtains open, it's going to be hard to see because it's dark, a spotlight's on you, but this is the direction you're running. You're running all yeah. the way down and to the end. Like a pregame yes. talk. Yes, freaking a give a high five to freaking Hey Reb and then run back just so it, there's some organization. <laughs> all, and like, all we really need to say about the organization is they cleared it and practiced it ahead of time. You wanted a let's, run through? Yeah, oh, there was not, no run through not only of the rehearsal. whole event. So not let's only, move on not to... Not only was there none of that, but there also wasn't any practicing at some like of the slam dunks. Like I don't think anybody made their first attempt at the slam no, dunk. No, they didn't. Whatever, whatever dunk they were doing. Like, no one made it the first time. It was ridiculous. Well, maybe one or two did, but... Be thankful we could do a slam dunk contest. Four years ago, we couldn't even hold one. <laughs> I mean, true. who could dunk? for uh, On the Sweet 16 team, who could dunk? Darger. Dar- uh, did you ever see him dunk? I never saw him dunk. Uh, no, I'm just assuming you could. Kevin, Kevin <laughs> Since he was our center. <laughs> Ume could dunk. Ume? Yeah, Ume could dunk. That's true. Ume. What about Curtis Terry? You he know could Curtis dunk. Terry could Yeah, dunk. Curtis he could, could throw it down. But they didn't like... They, didn't I mean, they, do it they could right obviously there. dunk, but they couldn't like... They couldn't do it flashy. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, they would be concentrating solely on <laughs> getting the ball dunk. in the rim. I just wish they would have... <laughs> instead of like telling each player you have two attempts, I wish they would have just said, you got a minute 30 and... Go do, off. Do yeah. what you can. Yeah. So Rice that, didn't have to be like, 30. give him another try. Give him another try. Yeah, he was Give like, him another try. So during that part, did he like have a mic with him? No, he, he just did a he little whirly like, let him do it again. thing. He would, yeah, he would do the whirly yeah. finger with so his So he ran index. the whole event from Play it finger. back. <laughs> yes, he ran the whole event from one finger. That's how much power he has. Um, and did you guys see Chet Buchanan's pants? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what, as soon as we it. sat down, I said, oh my gosh. So we'll we'll get a picture of that. That'll be on our show notes too. It's how are we gonna pull a picture of that? I don't know. We'll uh, dude, there's, just pull up. There's pictures of there, there's video of him. Just I'll, pull. Just Google K jeans <laughs> and those things will come up. Okay. Wow. Okay, show they notes. Had, like, go beaded. See they were like beaded. Yeah, they were bedazzled. Like, they Indian were style. No, they were like oh! bedazzled. And he was no. dancing. Oh, listen, racist. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Is Take there racist sound far. effects on there? No. Yeah, somewhere. Okay, there gonna... is no racial bigotry here. Yeah, you hear that? <laughs> None of that. <laughs> Pretty quick with that. Um, but this was the same Chet Buchanan that starstruck Corbin. Chet Buchanan in the morning too. Yeah, yeah, yes. the hell out of me, dude. <laughs> was he wearing those pants? I could have understood. No, no pants actually. Is weird. <laughs> um, did you like the Legends game? Oh my gosh! Please, lots of air balls. I was oh. just pissed that they did it during the lots middle of, thing. I understand why they did it in the middle thing because everyone would have left, including myself. Mm-hmm. But I just wish they would have done the player scrimmage and then the Legends game afterwards. Because, dude, that was painful to watch it at times. Well, they probably put it in the middle because they knew people wouldn't yeah, that's leave. That's exactly what I just said. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think they probably put it in the middle because people. <laughs> Way to go, would go <laughs> But I wish they would have done the Legends game and then just done the slam dunk contest and then let the players play. Yeah. Because I mean, the two things that people wanted to see were the slam dunk contest and then watch the players play. Which I'll tell you right now, Morant uh, had me money on him and he didn't show off as much as I thought he would. As much I as I've seen dude, him on YouTube, he must have been hurt because he was not getting any lift. It, seriously, the, dude. Well, they said they said his shins were sore. Right. Maybe that had some. I don't know. No, that could be it. Short shins. He had some short shins. Yes. Short shins. Yeah. I felt, dude, I felt bad for him because honestly, it looked like he just couldn't get any lift. And you know that dude can jump. Yeah. I mean, I know when Shabazz Muhammad won the uh, slam dunk contest for the McDonald's All American weekend, mm-hmm. uh, they were talking to Coach Rice and they're like, uh, Coach Grant Rice, the Gorman coach. And they said, What do you guys, you know, what do you think about Shabazz winning the slam dunk contest? And he said, He's not even the best dunker on our team, referring to Demetrius Morant. So I, that's why I guess I had my hopes up because I thought for sure he's going to be able to do some cool things. And well, I've seen him in games dunk. He do, his head gets above the rim. Right. He has a lot of bounce. And but that's what I was didn't. saying. Like, because I've seen his YouTube right. videos uh, where he jumps over Kate and Jayhawk and then someone else. Uh, but he tried to jump over Hey Reb, didn't quite make it. More like Hey Reb took still, a charge. He still finished the dunk, but yeah. Hey Reb got teabagged. <laughs> Did you see that on Twitter? Yeah, it was on Twitter, but I also watched it, and that was the first thing that came and, to mind. And I mean, the guy who was playing Hey Reb, like he would like he like moved at the last second when Morant was like in the air. Idiot. He almost freaking injured one of our players. Well, plus, dude. he was like, You're so, so dumb. That's right. He was so hesitant to do it. He acted like, I don't want to do it. I don't yeah, want to do it. He's in a freaking big Shut padded up. helmet. Like, it's your what's going to happen? It's your job. It's your job. Oh, hey, Reb. It's your job. 
You <laughs> signed it's up. your job. You knew you were going to get job. dunked on. Yes. What do you say, Ethan? When you it's signed up job. for that job, you knew you were going to get dunked on. That's true. I would love to be Hey Reb, dude. I think that would be a fun too. job, man. Just yes. running around smelling like Crown Royal and <laughs> liquor. <laughs> Probably, right? <laughs> um, who impressed you at the Scarlet and Gray show? Oh, geez. Case? Hmm. Let me think. Like, there was one part where. Um, Savon Goodman got a steal. So his team just scored. So the opposing team then inbounded the ball. He got a steal and then went into dunk it. And Moser was right there, dude. And Moser like rejected him. Like the ball hit the backboard. Dude, it happened and I twice. think he fouled him twice dude, in a row, twice, dude. Yeah. How crazy was that? Like it was nuts. No one was, was taking awesome. no one was taking anybody's like S, if you will. Their S. Yeah. Dude, you like, know like the best everyone thing? was going as Socks. hard as they could. You know what the best thing I yes, well, sandbox that was about that? whole thing was that when Savan was approaching the hoop on both occasions he knew Mosier was going up yeah block right and he did not try to do a fancy layup or a pump fake dude he went hard to the rack knowing Mosier was going hard and to the rack you know what too. and I love that's what I was saying because I love that Moser went just as hard as he did yeah. and yeah like they would get up and get in each other's face but then like slap each other on the booty which they probably learned from <laughs> coach Troyer yes. you know what I mean and everything this is the proper cool. way to butt slap Right. He's a good coach. Teaches him everything Dude, he the does. hype is so big right now on Savon Goodman. Dude, like, he I am is getting awesome, man. pumped to see this kid. And all of a sudden, apparently, he can shoot the ball. Oh, Or he's, he's getting there, at he's least. He's getting better. I mean, have you guys seen the Run as One poster? Like, he looks like a badass yeah, in that picture. Is. Like, yeah. dude, I would not want to meet down a dark alley, man. He looks tough. So, Let's I like be him, honest, dude. I wouldn't want to meet any of these guys in the dark alley. Really? Charles Except Rushman? Rushman. I'll take Rushman. What about Barry? <laughs> what about Barry Cheney? I wouldn't know. What about Caton? Okay, no. I'm only only He's Russian. too wigger. That's the scariest type oh, of geez. all. <laughs> I don't know if we here can we say go, that. Here we go, a resident racist <laughs> over here. <laughs> um, uh, obviously, I, I think the person who impressed the most everyone was Bennett. My yeah, gosh. Yeah, dude. He just looks so smooth. And, and I when said he in shoots the, threes, it's like as smooth as your voice, Jordan. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I said in the last podcast, I was excited for everyone to have their first Anthony Bennett moment, and I'm excited that everyone did. Everyone had that moment where they were like, I can't believe this dude's on our team. And it's incredible to watch that kid. I like Not, his uh, I like his celebration that he does after a big dunk. The muscle flex? Yeah, the muscle flex, dude, where his fists almost like touch his shoulder. It's cool. It's just cool. He has like a cool style of doing it. Like his elbows are down a little bit lower. He doesn't look douchey or anything, you know? He looks cool. Like you Ooh. look like where you're doing it right now? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got serious Jackson. when you said that, but no one can see my seriousness. They can just hear I, I can silence. So it doesn't, I forgot it doesn't work on radio. That was rude. Um, so uh, do you guys want to talk about the uh, some people that have commented on our show? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's I mean, are we done? Star- Sorry, that was next. Well, time. what else did you want to talk about with the showcase? That's all. I mean, was there anything else that you wanted to bring up? No, there wasn't really. I felt like, you know, they did some Rebel Shorts, and it sucks. Dude, that Legends video. Uh, l- let's talk about that one, because I've been hearing amazing things about it. Jordan wasn't there. Let's throw that yeah, out there. Yeah, to me. I wasn't there. He had a church activity that night. Okay, so basically... Um, I didn't know Jews go out. They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do. So, was it in the video... Yeah. Synagogue. Are we going to explain it? Or are we just going to keep making no, go ahead. Jewish jokes? Why are you interrupting me? Yeah, thank you. Um, so... But the Jew- <laughs> obviously, you and can tell we out. got a new... Stop it, Dick. We got a new... Uh, some new sound effects. Because we got that money from Soggy Shoes. Uh, What's up? <laughs> Actually, we got that money from... Uh, no doubt, Sports boo, Spectators no doubt. Diapers. From where? Sports Spectators Diapers. Oh, right. I hear there's a huge, uh, huge surge of Sports Spectators Diapers down in San Diego. Do you know why? Because the Aztecs. They crap in because they when pants. the Aztecs see half of our guys, they're going to be pissing their pants. All right. Cool, yeah. In your face, Aztecs. Um, All right. Legends video. Okay. So basically, the way the video would work is, you know, you'd have like Sean Marion dribbling down the court. He would pass the ball across court, and then they would use what's called in the biz a wipe, quote unquote, where <laughs> the person receiving the ball would then be like, 
Curtis Terry or Kevin Kruger. Someone who, that like totally wasn't even on Sean yes, Marion's team. who would then pass the ball and then Marcus Banks would get the ball and he would throw up an alley-oop and J.R. Ryder would catch it and throw it down type thing. That's like That's what the video was like. Man. And were it these... went on, on, on and on. Like there was like five or six plays in a row where LJ would, would inbound it to Moser who would then throw the lob, you know, to... I don't know any other yeah. old school route. Freaking, it was you know, just, Dickel or whatever. There was, was a sweet, lot dude. of highlights from Rudy then and now, show. and there were the whoever produced that video did an amazing job. That's what I heard. It was but very like well done awesome. from when they were playing back in the day, not yes. from today. Right, right. Okay, got to make sure. And uh, correct. I don't. know. I thought it was good. I. I mean, I think it was Sounds a video good. that most people were excited about. Um, on the other podcast, they were saying that uh, with DJ Allen was being interviewed and he was saying that he uh they're just going to make a couple tweaks to it but it should be out released to the public he says probably about the time the season starts so be exciting man for people to see it was really good um there was another video that they did with jayhawk and they're talking about how good his defense is and uh basically the way the skit went is that people would be trying to come into the thomas and mac and he would have on like the yellow security jacket and he would like play defense on him, like trying to frisk him or get a ticket, <laughs> which is funny. Up. But he would be talking to them. And dude, that kid's voice is so deep. And there's so much echo and reverb in the Thomas and Mac that all you could hear was just like, <laughs> like you couldn't hear or understand anything he was saying, dude. I was like, why don't they freaking edit it and like put like the subtitles, subtitles. on the bottom of the screen so we can read what he's saying? Because he's probably saying, funny stuff you know yeah. but i don't know just another thing with the showcase i was just dude i swear if they would just like let me run it add closed captions for free be happy like just give me a budget and i would just keep the money for the budget and then just have a really shitty showcase but <laughs> that's what they did <laughs> that's probably what they did but seriously Shepard can't spend it all on his jeans can make it so good probably dude they were the worst <laughs> jeans man please go to the show notes now and uh, look at his jeans. We'll get a picture. We got to get a picture. Yeah, of if you listen to Stitcher ridiculous. or something, you could probably scroll to the side and open up the show notes right there. Right. So, um, what else? Anything else about Scarlet and Grey game? You guys no, I'm about? sorry. Oh. We can we can move on now. I just burped and it tasted like a donut I had this morning. They know you burped. It was good, dude. I had I a smelled it. A Del Taco yesterday, and I had Del Taco again this morning, and I had Del Taco the day before that. So it's three days in a row Del Taco. Hey. So. Don't you dare tell me dreams. Shout out to true. Del Taco. <laughs> um, okay, so we've all seen uh, like the ESPN polls that they've put who's going to get to the Final Four, who they think is going to win each conference. Like, you know, they put Syracuse winning the Big East and, uh, you know, either Arizona or maybe UCLA winning the Pac-12, uh, the Pac for example. Um Everyone on ESPN that did the polls, who do they put to win the Mountain West Conference? UNLV. Yeah, every single one of them. At least the five that I saw. Well, I'll put UNLV. That was on ESPN. On ESPN, right. yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Now, <clears throat> the conference polls just came out, right? And so I guess these are more people that are more dedicated to the conference, that understand the conference better. And where'd they put UNLV to finish? Second. Put a second, right? Behind <laughs> SDSU. So whales vagina. Yeah, that's what they are. A bunch of San Diego's. <laughs> um so anyways, I mean, I don't know. I I was shocked that uh we were number 2 on those polls. Um I would hope maybe it would be motivating for the team, you know, for Dave Rice, uh for them to feel like they're being slighted, you know, that they're not getting um the respect, essentially, that they deserve. I don't know. What do you guys think about them being ranked number two in the conference polls, but being number one, like in all the other polls? I think I think the fans have every right to feel like slighted, right? But at the same time, I'm just fine with the lower ranking because we know how, how we've dealt in the past with high rankings. super high rankings or high, and expectations, a lot of hype. right? Yeah, we do terrible. So I'm just fine with number two and leaving us with something to prove not right. to mention the fact that i don't know if you looked at the the it was based on the point number of points you got right san diego state got 153 points we got 151 oh so, so we were just yeah, it was basically very close. Like behind them everyone says it's going to come down to the two of us and i think that's basically what the polls say hey, they edge us out by a couple points win by an inch or a mile that's what my friend said oh Paul. that sounds like a no fear shirt yeah 
It's on uh, on third. No, what is it on? If you don't finish second. No, what is it? Second place is first loser. Damn it, that's what it was. Yes. If you don't finish second. It reminds you of junior high. I think that, uh, I think that A, San Diego State basically has a returning team from last year that did great. And Mm -hmm. so there's Mm -hmm. reason that they put them at first because these are guys that have proven themselves and will come back and bring it like they do every year. Right. We kind of have a lot of new guys coming in who still, even though they're great and we've seen a ton of amazing things from them, they still need to prove themselves on the court. So within the first few days, they'll probably revise that. But I'm with Jordan. I like the fact that we're behind and we have something to work towards. Right. I do too. And I mean, I think it, you know, like I said, I think it helps the team. I think it helps motivate the team. It probably helps uh, the expectations here in Las Vegas be a little bit more realistic for some people too as well. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm definitely excited for the season. Uh, I can't wait till we play SDSU. I think I would talk to this bef- about this before that I think one of the advantages we have is when we play SDSU away, we play them away first. It's on a Wednesday night. Um, and obviously their season's already sold out. It's right. going to be a sold out arena. That place is going to be packed. It's going to be filled to capacity and it's going to be people that are pissed that don't like us essentially. Um, but then when we play them here in Vegas, it's on a Saturday afternoon. And we do tend to get a lot more people that come on Saturdays than come on like a Wednesday or a Tuesday night. So We do, but it, it also allows regardless. Aztec fans to come. travel here and True. show up in it'll bigger be, numbers. Re- it'll be sold out regardless. It's still going to be Yeah, it'd be a sold out on a atmosphere. Monday afternoon. Yeah, it I mean, could be just... Sunday during church and it'll be sold out. Right. It's that big of a game. <laughs> Corbin. Stupid. Um, <laughs> The uh, besides the Aztec game, what's another game you guys are looking forward to in conference? The low blows. Yeah, you yeah. know. You guys are excited I'd, for the low blows. The, the Lobos, they are so upset that they're not getting the recognition that UNLV and SDSU gets. Every time something comes out that picks one of the two of us to win, they're like, well, "What about us? We record. We return the best backcourt in the country." and Blah, is that blah, what it blah, says blah. on their message boards? Yes. What okay. about you? Your coach is an asshole. Yeah, that's yeah. also true. Is your mother with that mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he is a good... I, I feel like Alfred's done a pretty good job there. Uh, obviously I, with I, the team and kind of getting that program back on its feet and getting them national recognition and, you know, just getting them good. I don't think... They're they fit their be, ceiling, I think. Right, and I don't think they're going to be as good this year as they were last year. I mean, I think one of the advantages they have is they peaked at the right time last year. They peaked towards the end of the season. They totally kicked ass in the conference tournament. I mean, well, not they to mention great. they had Drew Gordon. They had Drew Gordon. That dude was an animal. He was a great player, no matter what you want to say about him. Mm-hmm. They don't return any type of player like him. No. They're going to miss him a lot this season. And, I mean, they are returning some important players. Tony Snell. Snell. Uh, Kendall Williams. Kendall Williams. Yeah. But, yeah, keep listing them. There's not a lot of that's, there's no, no really that's return. It, dude. And they're not right. bringing in. They have the point guard from Australia. It was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, he, I mean, green something. Green, yeah, he, yeah no, he did He did all right something. last season. Green witch. He was a freshman last year. Sandwich. Good. I've I thought. Know. I mean, Tom, I felt like Tom he was able to keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we'll call. Um, the, uh, what about Colorado State? Are you guys excited to play CSU at all? I mean, they're returning... They're pretty heavy laden yeah. with seniors this year. If they were still, if they under still 10 miles, ten miles, oh. would you be a little bit more worried about them? I would. Yeah, you uh, would, I, I would. But I'd be more yeah. excited for the game too. I, I like Colorado State a lot. I mean, I just feel like they're humble I, players. They're always, you know, shooting for something better, and they don't get enough credit. This year, they did get a couple votes for top twenty-five preseason. They did. Polls. They, they did. were. They were like when you count down on. You know how they give you the top twenty-five, yeah. and they show you everyone that got votes, and I think. The two polls I saw, one of them they finished thirty three, yeah. and another one was in the thirties too, but fairly close. Dude, you know they've got I mean? a good team. That Hornung kid is coming yeah, back. Dude. I like that Hornung. Freaking Dorian dude. Green. Yeah. Uh, Ike Dorian Meyer. Green's freaking flush. Kaden Reinhardt Senior. <laughs> Ike Meyer. Dude, he looks just like him, man. Yeah. But I actually skinnier. think they might be better under this new coach. Do you really? I'm throw that really? out there. I think their ceiling is higher under this new coach. Tim Miles is the man. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> where'd you get that, dude? It's Don't crazy. worry about it. <laughs> Don't, worry. Don't worry about it, bro. Is that a rec- is that funny? You guys have said that? No, no, no. probably. He got it off of uh, <laughs> crap. CSU students say video. You know when they coming out with those stuff. What's it called? Asian chicks say stuff. Black dudes say oh stuff. stuff CSU 
fans yeah. say. But. There's actually a video of crap CSU students say. Oh, is there one that UNLV fans do that? That'd be funny. I'll have to look it up. I don't really see. know what else they'd say. I mean, yeah, I it's know. probably all the same stuff. Dear Rice is the man. Yeah. <laughs> Football <laughs> sucks. Yeah. If it's well, if you ask me. What, what was that? That was Dave Rice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I don't have that Hold sound on. bite, but. Hold on. Jordan does. <laughs> Oh. I think it's a pretty good I fit myself. It's, uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, either way, I like CSU. I think that they're humble, good people, and uh, I'm excited to play them. Um, good. I'm excited and, to play them, too. And for them to get national credit when they're basically a team that nobody knows about. Um, they did decent last year, but for them to get national credit so far in a few votes is a big deal, and I think they'll climb in the polls. I think Reno's going to be a tough... Uh, they will tough team this year. They're going to be uh, at both locations. I think they're going to be tough here in Vegas, but I think they'll also be really tough. <clears throat> yeah, up there in. in that Reno. does that does make it interesting because we always play them, or we've in the past we've always played play them, them once, but it's just once, right? So it's going to be interesting now that we're playing them twice. Twice, yeah, and it'll be interesting now that we're playing them there. Uh, I mean, we're going to have more of a target on our backs, obviously this season, and uh, hopefully the basketball team team can get some redemption for. Our football team and how bad they are. Dude, I think I could beat Bobby Houck in Madden if I played him in Madden. No! You don't think so? No. All right. <laughs> I don't think he plays Madden, so I think you could. Ah, good. You, you probably could, should play a little Madden. You could definitely beat him just at pure coaching skills. I mean, <laughs> any, anyone could. Thanks. At this point. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. Yeah, don't be like that. Um, the... Uh, so we had some people that have done some comments for us on iTunes and talked about the show, what they think about the show. I uh, just want to read something real quick by uh, TexRebel412. Uh, this is what he says. It's pretty funny. He says, here's what I've learned uh, since I started listening to the ramble. He says, number one, Corbin Mack has a real homosexual crush on Reinhardt. Not a Dude, man Dude, are crush. you gay? Yeah. So it's... Uh, <laughs> number two, second thing he learned, he says, you guys think peanut allergies is a myth. Uh, peanuts kill more people than sharks. Watch Shark Week. Um, you things- know what? I know you do like generally. You like to say the word penis a lot, but when you say when you say peanut, it sounds a lot like penis. No, it penis doesn't. allergies. It does. I have some. Like if someone has a penis allergy, <laughs> I have one. Like when you, if when you go on an airplane, you get a bag of peanuts. <laughs> I know it's a penis. Now you're trying to penis. Get your penis. You don't need to try. It just happens. It flows for you. Um, the third thing he said that he's learned is uh, if any running re- any running rebel fan wants some meth, there's two cities you go to. Where are they? Albuquerque and Reno. There you go. That's right. Albuquerque and Reno. And then the last thing he says is uh, rebels going to have a badass football team. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, the last thing he says, I don't know if you guys remember a few weeks ago we were talking about how UNLV needed some type of a catchphrase, just like how Arizona has bear down. Nevada took Battleborn, which is kind of a bummer because that one I think is pretty sweet. Yeah, I, but I don't think they really say it to each other. They just fly a flag that says Battleborn. Battle ready, Battleborn. That's what it says. Yeah, but they don't walk Battle around. Battle douche. They don't walk around. The biggest little city in the world. <laughs> I didn't catch that. It's the biggest little city in the world. Oh, that place sucks, D, dude. Um, but anyways, his uh, his catchphrase that he thought UNLV sucks could. Peanuts. He thought that UNLV yeah, sucks peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that they could use the uh, that we could use the phrase roll dice, which just kind of piggybacks off of uh, roll Alabama. Valentine. So I say, like it. Roll dice. No, I think like it's like this. Roll dice. Okay, that's good. Well, if we were in Texas, it would sound something like <laughs> well, that. He is from Texas. Roll dice. Oh, Tex, Tex, his name. He is could like. Tex he could like Tex Mex four one two, and I'm pretty sure four one two is his weight. Because everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> yeah. And don't uh, give this guy a hard time, okay? Because he's from Texas. So don't mess with him. Yeah. Okay? Don't hey, mess I'm with him. There's two Texas. things from You've Texas. Seen steers and queers. And I'm pretty sure he's a steer if he weighs 412. That's right. <laughs> what? Okay. So roll dice. That's, yeah. the, that's the saying that we're going to start. Okay? Every okay. show we're going to roll dice. Roll uh, dice. On Bonanza and Eastern, you're going to say, Role dice. <laughs> like that. Okay? <laughs> I don't know how you say dice in Spanish, but. <laughs> dice. Speak Spanish. I for a living. I don't know how you say well, Dude, you should dice. learn that game. Name, game. You should have to do the next you 10 learn minutes. That word. Dice, dice. That's how you say it. Roll dice. And then they all See, I could you. say that in Spanish. Yeah. And if you don't speak English, we also have a podcast that Corbin translates the whole podcast into Spanish. Right. Okay. Correct the mundo. 
<laughs> right? Yes. So our next, and that's a five star comment. We'll only read your comment if it's five stars. <laughs> so don't bother leaving a four star. So for the uh, 15 one star comments we got. <laughs> yeah, screw you. So our next one's by uh, Turdferg11889. Turd? Turn he turn. says, two hot guys, and the hosts don't look bad either. Thanks. So I would think he's talking about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. What a compliment. I would agree. Don't act surprised. <laughs> Just chatting about <laughs> Rebel Basketball when they're not rambling about other crap. They're endorsed by all my favorite products like Soggy Shoes, Sans Soda, and Sports Spectator's Diapers. At some point, they mix in a game or two just to keep the air fresh. And my favorite part of the whole show is when they talk about UNLV basketball team. As if they're a part of it. We are, Dick. <laughs> Penis. Uh, I listen to the show every yes. week while my wife and kids go to church. It's a way to keep my sanity. So he says, right. Please pick me on the show to come to the show live. I want to see those guys from the Rebel blog. You got Remember it, we said they win if we. Do you, this this, this has got to be someone. This we know. is someone that like. This is you. Did you not? No. I, this could I'm be at the bottom. This could by be the big. Way. This could be Big Brother. This could be Big uh, Brother. Turd Ferg. He would. It could be that. Big Brother. Listen, turd one, Ferg, one, show eight, yourself. Nine. Come find oh, us on Twitter. I'm trying to think if that means it's anything. Gotta make sense. Hey, I'm at the if bottom. it was Big Brother, he would have put something like Nevada related. Right. Like, Battleborn. <laughs> His Twitter handle? Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Big Breath. Um, what, uh, oh, do you guys want to play a quick round of uh, Wade's World? Let's do it. Okay. On, All right. It. Here's what we do for you new listeners. I'm going to go through a few tweets of our that our uh, basketball team has put out, and one of them will include a tweet by former scout team captain Wade Norman, and it's your guys' job to guess which one it is. I've actually How got many two. How rounds? Two rounds? Two rounds. Is that right. cool? Yeah, I hope it's right. cool. So you'll indulge me? I will indulge thee. All right, here we go. Number one, man, my life's so real. Last night I went to sleep and woke up with the chills. Ooh. Is that, does that rhyme? Real? Chills? No. Real chill. Yes, it does. Okay, yeah. <laughs> On Twitter, it does. Real chill. All right, number two. <laughs> Shout out to the good person that found my wallet and turned it in. Oh, oh that wow. was nice. Honestly, that that cool. could be him. That's cool. Oh, that could be Wade. He could have. Nah, when you hear him. Wade's. <laughs> oh, okay. So that one. I might as well do some push-ups. I ain't got nothing else to do. Shoot. That could be him because he's like, got like some bored. Guns. Let's just do some push-ups, right? Until somebody calls me. Number four Let's is. Stop. If I was a female basketball or if I was a female soccer player, I'd be Abby Wambach. And if huh. you know, Abby Wambach is like the manliest looking one in right. on the U.S. soccer. <laughs> she team. has like a dikey haircut. Yes. Right. Well, that's clearly Wade Norman. That's right clearly there. Wade Norman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Daquan is the one that lost his wallet and All got right. it, got it returned. Bennett's the one that does push ups in his spare time. <laughs> Why not? And Mars has a life so real he gets chills. Right on, dude. So real, I get chills. All right, round two. One day, I may write a book. Tell my story through my eyes. Yeah, deep. <laughs> I like this one. I speak a language of love like Spanish. Hashtag Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Third one is not trying to be the perfect one, just trying to be the right one. And oh. I, I need to note that Trina is spelled T-R-Y-N-N-A. <laughs> Trina. 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 And the fourth one is <laughs> My girlfriend could be a Disney princess. <laughs> <laughs> <Not a lot. laughs> right on. Now are we talking Disney Princess like Princess and the Frog? Or are we talking <laughs> Disney Princess Like Pocahontas? Like Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Yes. Hello. Is that racial? She's not a She's not a princess. Listen, oh. before we were talking about the polls and we never actually finished it. Oh, sorry about it. But I'm going to give you a quick rundown before we finish up the show and tell you about the competition that's coming up that we're going to include you guys in on. Uh, and I'll give you a rundown of what's happened. So CBS, ridiculously early poll taken in April, ranked us 13th. And that was before we had Anthony Bennett. Okay. AOL just ranked us at 20th. They ranked SDSU at 19. AOL ranks people? Yeah. Okay. Uh, coaches poll put us at 19th, put SDSU at 20th. Okay. CBS countdown has gone all the way down to 13, which they ranked SDSU at 13, and they have not put us there yet. I yes, they have. yes, they have. As of today, today it's 12. 12. Oh, that's so Raven. 
<laughs> here's here's some notable teams that are have already been set on CBS that are ranked <laughs> lower than us or higher technically. Uh, Duke, Ohio State, Gonzaga, and Florida. I likes me some so, that. I have a question. <clears throat> What's the proper way to pronounce our state? Nevada. And then Nevada. how do people pronounce it sometimes on the East Coast? I'm Nevada. not even going to say it. Okay. Every, oh, everybody in here is going to give you the correct answer, right. I think. Right. Thank you. Okay. Now, Wait, short, what about... With a short A. What about, what about uh, the school from that Adam Morrison went to in Stockton? They went to... Um, oh, yes. So is it Gonzaga or is it Gonzaga? They're called the Zags, not the Zogs. Well, if you follow the same rule as the proper way to say Nevada. our state name, you'd say... Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Well, technically, isn't the proper way to say our, say our state name? Isn't it Nevada? Like, if you're going to go Spanish? with like the true Spanish way, it's Nevada, but we all know that it's Nevada. We're not Spaniards. That's true. We're white beards. Caucasians. It. I know somebody that's We're a not gonna I, blow it like I'm a direct descendant from Caucasia. <laughs> and that's just me. Okay. Who was it that always said it? Bush. Always oh, said Nevada. Oh, the president. George Bush. Yeah. Oh, I was like, Bush? Gavin Rosdale, right? <laughs> Why did he do that? Okay, sorry. sorry, got it. Okay, so let's move on to our contest. Listen up, guys. This is a way for you to win lots of cool stuff. It okay. sounds boring as hell, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, what is that so person? the contest is on <laughs> Come Facebook. Come on, man, put your headphones on so you can hear, it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> you just said what did that sound bite say? <laughs> I'm so hot. Can't keep my play it again for him. Oh, he has his headphones no. off. Don't play, play it again. Play no. It again. no. Okay, you don't get it. All right. So it was post. Scott! It was that one. Just kidding. Post. <laughs> post a picture of your rebel gear. You, your dogs, your aunts, whatever. Post a good picture on Facebook on our Facebook page, and whoever gets the most uh, comments on their picture wins the prize. Now the prize is. A two night <laughs> stay with Scott. Scott. Oh, you want to win in this? In Reno, you want to win this? Scott has. How about no? Scott has. Scott. Yeah. How about no, Scott? <laughs> no. <laughs> Scott has three kids that are very well behaved, and they are not loud at, at all. all. <laughs> so, welcome to my world. Okay, that's not win. the real prize. The real prize is we got a Rebel Blog T-shirt. We have a Run and Ramble T-shirt. We have a nine incher. What describe what that is? <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a nine inch hay reb head decal for okay. your car or what have okay. you for your windshield. But is it just and the hay reb face? It's just the head. Yeah, it doesn't say unlove or anything like that, right? No, it doesn't say unlove. Or you can't love. do that. That's trademark infringement. Okay, okay. sorry. A sorry, nine babe. incher and a twenty dollar gift certificate to your favorite chicken place, Canes, dude. That's, that's a huge prize. I mean, that's yeah. wicked I'm, stuff. Can one of us win? Yes, post your picture. Right. <laughs> Get those three quiet kids and dress them up in one huge t-shirt. Man. Okay, so they exciting. have to go to our Facebook. Go to our Facebook, post your run and, picture. Run and ramble. Well, run, what, what, run and ramble. Yeah. Post your picture on our Facebook and promote all your friends to go comment on it. Because whoever gets the most comments as of two weeks from today. Well, what's today? Just pick a date, dude. Just tell them the date. So open up my calendars on my phone. So we will say as of, let's just say opening day. As of, uh, when's our first game? The 12th. 11th? 12th. 12th. So as of November 12th. November 12th is the last day you can put comments. After that. I will. just want to say this. No one take my idea. I'm submitting a picture of me in a Rebel shirt. Maybe you should stop right there. Only. <laughs> just a Rebel shirt. <laughs> that is all. That's it's gonna get. Idea. It's going to get flagged. Is it, it won't. You're not gonna. It's gonna be, it's gonna be seductive. Okay. Dude, Pose. are you gay? <laughs> we could. I'm gay for the rebels. For the uh, gables. <laughs> well, that's the contest. So uh, get started. Get creative. Post your picture. And uh, do you know what? If you post one good picture and you don't think it was good enough, and you come up with a new idea, submit another one. But yeah. So you're saying people can have unlimited entries. Unlimited entries, but the one with the most comments is no. The one let's that put wants. a limit. Let's say like 47 picks max. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more than that. 47 yeah. entries. Don't you dare go 48. <laughs> Otherwise, we will DQ your ass. Okay. That means great. disqualified. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, Sorry. let's finish this off. 
All right. Well, anyways, just want to thank uh, our two guests, Jordan. I can't stop thinking about that nine inch. Of the, I want to win that. Peanuts. Uh, I can hook you up. With them. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I can get you a three and a half inch if you want. <laughs> it's too small you to see. Your mother with that mouth? Yeah, I do. Okay. Marilyn Phillips is a saint. <laughs> she is. Oh, Marilyn. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, thanks to the guys from the Rebel Blog for coming by. They are at. Uh, the Rebel Blog on Twitter or the Rebel Blog dot org dot com dot g a y com dot, dot com. My bad. Dot g a y. Okay. I get it. <laughs> I can spell. <laughs> Dude, it's like guys with an A. Right. Guys, it's like, like guys with a guys with a. can spell. <laughs> and uh, also, I think uh, Ethan and me, of <laughs> thank course. You. Thank you. Thank you. Corbin. Thank me. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Corb. Me welcome. Thanks All right. for coming. Thanks for coming, guys. All right, I guess that's our outro music. <laughs> All right. Ready? Here it comes. Ready? Hold on, hold on. <laughs>